Coach, educate, uh, educate us all about this. We know that Anthony Davis didn't depart from New Orleans because of you. Uh, but obviously, you know, it's more so he wanted to depart from New Orleans, probably going to a bigger market, whatever the case may be. Uh, but in the end, just the pressure that gets placed on the shoulders of a coach uh, to deal with situations like that, particularly when it comes to ingratiating yourself with players in such a way that that's a place that they want to stay. How much do you think that factors into the equation of things with a coach maintaining a coaching job in this day and age? I'm not speaking about you specifically, just overall yeah. what comes with it being a coach in the NBA in this day and age. Can you speak to that at all? Well, I think uh, if you go back and look, obviously, you know, star coach relationship uh, are, are very important in this. I just go back and look at Greg Popovich and, you know, his relationship with Tim Duncan. And, uh, you know, you can you can keep naming them and naming them and naming them. Obviously, Phil Jackson had great relationships uh, with his star players and uh, it becomes important, I think. So uh, it's one of those deals where, you know, you try to you try to have a good relationship, but you want to keep it uh, on a coach player relationship because I think, uh, uh, you know, you do have to discipline guys. You do have to try to uh, correct their mistakes and you try to do it uh, from the standpoint of, of, of making it positive uh, uh, criticism so that they're learning. But uh, yeah, I mean, you, you have to have that relationship. And, uh, you know, I thought I had a good relationship with the players there. I think if you ask most of them, uh, I tried to give them an opportunity to, uh, uh, be who they were, and uh, I tried to take their game and uh, give them an opportunity to play the best basketball they could, yeah. Well, you certainly developed Brandon Ingram into an all-star, that's for sure. Coach, let me ask you this quickly, though, because obviously Zion Williamson garners a lot of attention. I just want to know, how challenging was it dealing with the minutes restrictions and just kind of what you think about the concerns with his health long-term and the weight that he carries? Oh, uh, number one, I, I go to the weight thing. I think it's uh, it's 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 related. You know, uh, if you look at his body makeup, he's a big up. He's a big. Uh, you know, if you look at his athleticism, uh, it had no it had no so over uh, whatsoever. He is a he's going to be a going to be a general in this league. He's a tremendous player. Uh, not only not only is he a great athlete, but uh, his basketball IQ is really 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 has to be a great player. And as far as the injuries, you know, injuries, you know, uh, th these things happen. I mean, obviously, coaches want guys, just want guys, are, and uh, you have to also be smart in that. Uh, you know, you have to have to that uh, they're out there and they're healthy when they're out there. So there. So, you know, it, uh, it, it was hamstrung. You know, from the standpoint of him not being able to be out there for a lot of minutes. But but when he but when he was and when he was, I mean, we were very good. And uh, and and and, and that, I don't see anything. Uh, from him other than being one of these generational players, this players that's going to be a long time and, uh, and, and, and going to be an impact, be an impact player for the franchise. Coach, two, coach, two quotes of Griffin that caught my eye are uh, uh, one, no matter what you've done in the bubble, he may have been looking to make a change, may make a change. And number two, he needs to find someone who's going to be the right fit and have a shared vision about this ambitious group, I think was the quote. Um, does that surprise you about no matter how you would have played in the bubble, if that's true, he was looking to make a change? And when he says shared vision, was there any vision from the front office that you did not share and, and, and that you were aware of? Uh, as far as the first question, uh, I, I, I didn't get that impression. But obviously, if he said that uh, he was going to do that, if that was the case, then uh, I'm not really sure why I was at the bubble at all. So. Uh, I'm, I don't understand that, that quote whatsoever. Uh, as far as the second one, uh, my vision is to try to have a team that can compete for a championship. Uh, I think that's every coach's vision. So I'm not real sure, uh, you will have to ask him what exactly he meant by that. Uh, because, uh, my, 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 my goal as a coach is always to try to get in a position to win a championship. So I would think that that would be the franchise and, uh, his vision also, but, uh, maybe it's something different. That's something that you would have to check in with him, uh, and ask him that particular question and he can give you the answer. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN plus.